Okay, here we are at the Icon Siam Mall in Bangkok, Thailand. And this is very common here in the mall is we have all kinds of luxury performance cars. Dealerships, yes, this is a Porsche store. Now, um, they have a salesman and they have one token vehicle here, but of course, obviously, you can purchase a vehicle here or they'll set up a appointment for you at one of the local dealerships for you to road test and purchase a car. All right, so now we're getting ready to go into the Porsche dealership. Hmm, is this the, this is the tech hand. Okay, here we're inside our Porsche dealer and we're looking at the turbo. Uh, Taycan, which obviously is not an internal combustion engine vehicle, that's an electric vehicle. But let's take a look at our charging options and then we'll look at the vehicle. All right, here we go. And uh, obviously if I'm gonna use one of the high current, high power fast chargers, we're going to need a industrial 32 amp or 16 amp three phase service. So here, if I had the 400 volt, 32 amp, three phase, and by the way, this is 50 hertz here, uh, up to 22 kilowatts. So that's the rate that I could uh, charge my vehicle. And obviously 16 amp is gonna bring that in half at 11 kilowatts. Now, who's gonna have this in their house? Well, don't discount this because many wealthy people can just simply call up the public utility and say, hey, go ahead and fix me up with the free three phase service. As long as it's there available in the neighborhood, that shouldn't be a problem. But many households will have the single phase service and this 32 amp, that's not uncommon for most homes here in Bangkok, Thailand. And there I would be charging at a rate of 7.2 kilowatts. And this is pretty much an overnight charge. And obviously a 16 amp single phase, that would be all night, not just be probably 12 hours or more. And then of course, if I'm gonna use my household socket, remember this is 220 volts here in Thailand. Well, that's gonna be about three days. So let's go over here and take a look at our, here's our DC fast charger right here. Let's see here, um, uh, this is gonna be up to 270 kilowatts. Uh, here's our, I guess they're gonna call this the DC fast charger. Here's the type two AC charger. Now this is gonna be a lengthy amount of time, meaning about eight hours, six hours, eight hours or so. So up to 22 kilowatts. And let's move around. Here we see our charging station. And actually this looks like, I'm looking at it carefully, this actually looks like a uh, Rockwell Automation power monitor, at least the form right there. But as I can see, this is a um, uh, energy manager. So here I can measure voltage current phase and frequency. Okay, here we see our Taycan turbo, uh, without the turbo. Let's go ahead and walk around. This is actually an electric vehicle. Let's see if we can get a price on this. All right, we're coming up here to the window sticker. And yeah, let's see here, um, uh, it's 280 kilowatts, oh, excuse me, 280 watt hours per kilometer. Oh, I guess that's gonna be my fuel efficiency there. Okay, here's our window sticker of our Porsche. And uh, we can see no CO2 emissions, that's definitely zero. Our maximum range is 369 kilometers. And we have, of course, obviously, analog brakes and electronic stability control. And uh, as we drop down to the bottom of our window sticker, we see the price. Now, this is in Thai baht, but if I were to do a quick conversion into American dollars, that's about 
207,000 US dollars. Okay, here we have the Taycan. We have the rear wheel drive and all wheel drive models. And let's see here, uh, we can see this is quite the performance car. And as uh, far as range is concerned here, we're looking at about, uh, I'm just gonna say the, obviously the single axle rear wheel drive is a little better at a max of 432 kilometers. And there we see the old wheel coming in at a max of 408 kilometers. Okay, here we're looking at the Porsche style aero wheel. Yeah, it's a fairly nice, attractive looking wheel, but uh, as you can see, it's very flush with the wheel well. Not a lot of space and uh, try to improve the aerodynamics. Okay, here we see what sets Porsche apart from uh, its competitors. And we see some of the very nice features there of the painted vehicle key fobs, individualize your Porsche. We have a various array of rims and custom interiors customizing your steering wheel. Uh, we have a sport chrono stop wash instrument dial. Here we have our PDK shift selector and that's for the obviously the dual clutch transmission. Normally you'd use the paddles though on the steering wheel. If you're a Porsche owner and proud of it you got to have everything from a Porsche lunchbox to a hat and a shirt and of course your Glassware, coffee mug. And multi-purpose case.